But keep in mind that we do have people under the age of 18. Right. So, grab people. I will sort of help you moderate. So, how do you enjoy uh, doing Attack of the Show? Um, it's super fun. Um, I mean, I, I watch the show. I used to watch the show all the time. Lately, I've been working. We do. I do a show called Children's Hospital mm -hmm. on Adult Swim. And um, so we've been working hard on that. But, um, but yeah, I, I try to catch a show whenever I can. It's super fun. Um, everybody's super cool. It's a pretty good job. People seem to like you doing it. It's um, like, great job hosting. Oh, that's good. It's always nice to hear. Um, so aside from Children's Hospital, you do Human Giant? Um, yeah, and a I used bunch to of do, other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do a sketch show um, called Human Giant with Paul Shear mm -hmm. and Aziz Ansari. Who have also hosted the show. Yeah. There's a conspiracy going on. That's in right. Place. That's right. And um, yeah, we did that for a couple of years. And then we all, we were in New York and then we all moved to L.A. And um, just started doing other things. I think Sheer and I were doing a movie, and Disease was doing Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's been it's been good being out in LA. Oh, really uh, I miss Human Giant too, bro. It's Aww. a good good show. We enjoyed it. Um, when I <laughs> <laughs> Clooney. Um, well, that's someone said. When am I going to get George Clooney on Children's Hospital? Um, he is my best friend. Everybody knows yeah. that. Um, I did a movie with him called The Descendants, where I think I had like two scenes with the clean dog. Whoa. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, we're just best friends. Um, he's probably going to come on Children's Hospital. He's probably going to guest host Attack of the Show. Um, no, don't put that <laughs> on the internet. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, a, he's actually super nice. There was a point when we were shooting Descendants where we were hanging out. And um, we were like on our cell phones, and I thought like for a second that I was gonna get his phone number, mm -hmm. and uh, then I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna be best friends with George Clooney. But then that didn't happen. But then it's just George. Yeah, because yeah, you're on yeah. the, the the first name basis instead of the full name. Yeah, basis. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but no, he's actually a super cool guy. I was really blown away by how nice he was. Yeah. That is always nice to know. <laughs> Review on the run. Um, is that yours? Uh, okay, no, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I was just going, can I go up and look at some of Yeah, yeah you can things? scroll. Um, great job hosting this week. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Thank you. You're the best. Yes, I know. Yes. Hubel, you rock. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Astounding. <laughs> These are fake. I'm, I'm so handsome. Even. It's okay. Um, we'll just make it up as we go along. That's pretty much attack of the show anyway. Um, um, now, you mentioned at the end of the show today, there was a, a, a long story involving you and a hockey mask, and yeah. you said it was a long story, so do you think you could maybe share that with the... Uh, yeah, the well, um, one time I went camping with a bunch of friends of mine, it actually sounds like a horror movie, should I be addressing the camera? Oh, sure, okay. whatever. Um, but yeah, one time I went camping with a bunch of friends, and um, we were actually, it sounds like the beginning of a horror movie, we were actually at this... Um, uh, it was a summer camp, you know, like a kid's mm -hmm. summer camp, but it was not in the summertime. It was like in the fall or winter. And so we had access to this summer camp. And um, I thought we had a huge group of people and everybody was staying in these cabins. And so I thought, oh, this would be really fun. I'm going to scare the shit out of people. So um, I brought this crazy blonde wig, this like long blonde wig and um, this hockey mask and a hatchet. And I was like waiting and waiting. And then the first night, um, when it got super dark, I waited until people were drinking. It was like late at night. And then I put on the hockey mask and I was running down this hill to go barge into this big cabin where everyone was. And I didn't know that next to the cabin, there was this like, um, clothesline where the kids would hang their swimsuits, you know, after they swim in the lake. And I just ran right into this clothesline, went like, boom, and just slide. It probably would have cut my face off, but thankfully I was wearing this hockey mask. <laughs> <laughs> so now I wear a hockey mask wherever I go. Everywhere I go. Yeah, he took it off after he sat down. Yeah, I, normally I wear it everywhere I go. Um, okay, safety first. What do I think is the smell in Candace's attic is? You know, I don't know. That could be a lot of things. I mean, it could be... I asked her if she was maybe hoarding stuff. Like, she could be a hoarder for all we know. I don't know Candace very well. She seems super nice. But we don't know. She could be a hoarder. It could be garbage. It could be... Uh, it could obviously be a dead animal, such as Bigfoot. Um, Sasquatch. The Sasquatch. <laughs> the Yeti. Um, these are all Bigfoots. <laughs> but um but yeah i don't know i don't know what it could be that smells so bad in her attic um 
it, you know, maybe she's maybe she murdered someone. Maybe she maybe. was confessing. Maybe that nice facade is maybe, all an act. Yeah, maybe Jesus. we're gonna go and the the police will find a body up there and they're gonna be like, oh, she was trying to confess on live TV and we didn't listen to her. We should have listened to her. It's gonna now, end so tragically. Now we're gonna start this rumor that Candace is a murderer. Um, yes, it could be a dead human, of course. It could be the body of the last attack of the show host. Um, yep, 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 yep. Um, let me see. Who's prettier than the... I'm not going to pick who's prettier. Everybody's pretty on the show. Um, yeah, you, yeah, I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Um, what else do you guys have? Man, a lot of people have crazy questions on here. Uh, no, that's back towards the beginning. Yeah, so I think yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of the stuff was before you. Oh, you know, gotcha. So. Um, ooh, someone said something about Walking Dead. Yeah, yesterday I got to interview um, this woman, Denai Guerrero, <laughs> who is, um, she plays Michonne on The Walking Dead. And, um, you know, it's people nice. that, yeah, people that read the comic book know it's like the most badass character. And, um, yeah, it was super cool to meet her because it's just going to be like the best character on that show. It's going to be really cool to watch her, like, slice and dice zombies so you're a walking dead fan um i do try to watch as much as i can i gotta catch up on a few shows i'm a little bit behind on walking dead um i'm behind on breaking bad um and i'm a little bit behind on game of thrones so don't spoil it for me you weirdos yeah me neither just started the books um, tell Matt Myra that I want to be on the Nerdist podcast. Guess what, weirdo? I've been on the Nerdist yeah. podcast. You go through their archives, you'll find it. Um, what was it like working on Curb Your Enthusiasm? Wow, these people are really on Wikipedia right now. Um, Curb Your Enthusiasm is the most fun show to do because um, the way they shoot it, you probably know, they don't have a script for it, so you don't memorize lines or anything. What you do is you show up, and they have just kind of like barely an outline for every scene. So um, you'll just you get to improvise a lot. So it's pretty cool. Like they'll know like okay, the scene's gonna start. You guys are gonna be at dinner, and then by the end of the dinner, everyone's gonna get really mad at uh, at Larry, and then you know, and they're gonna kick him out of the house or whatever. So. They didn't give you a reason why. You just well, kind of yeah, no, they'll give you a reason why. Okay. But um, but um, you know, it's super fun and it's really loose, and um, and all the people that are on the show are just so funny. So it makes it really easy to to do. And really, what you end up doing is just like screaming at him. You know, you're yeah. like, <laughs> you're just some like, of the best stuff comes out of the improv. Yeah, like, yeah, you can't yeah. Just like force a conversation, like some of the yeah, stuff just happens. Yeah, for sure. So, what kind of snacks did AOTS give you? Yeah. <laughs> What's my favorite thing about Attack of the Show? Um, I think my favorite thing about Attack of the Show is, well, a couple of things. One, I get a free lunch when I come here. Can you That's imagine crazy. that? You sh I show up, and there's like an intern who goes, hey, here's a bunch of menus. What do you want to eat? And I can just order anything I want. So today <laughs> Thursdays. I Thursdays. Did they tell you about Thursdays? No, what happens tomorrow? Free bagel Thursdays. What? Good morning. Free bagels. I'm going to go yes. fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so today I had like Chipotle and Baja Fresh and a salad and a watermelon and a pizza. It was delicious. Awesome. Um, no, but for real, the, uh, the, I think the coolest thing about doing the show is you get to meet all these really cool people from cool TV shows. Um, yeah, it's just really interesting talking to all those people. Um, because sometimes in LA, people stay in their houses a lot they don't you don't see people you don't see like the cool famous people like they don't go outside so it's cool when they have to they're forced to come to a tv show because then you get to meet them and talk to them any favorites and, um, so far well i mean i've only met a couple so far but um the guy from arrow was really cool mm -hmm. Stephen amell he was a good dude and um and yeah the woman yesterday deny was was really cool um today um uh, Candace interviewed mm -hmm. Ethan Hawke, so mm -hmm. that was pretty neat. But I was. You know Eli Roth, though. Eli Roth was pretty was awesome pretty too. Neat. Yeah, I actually know him. He's uh, yeah, I knew him from. You New know York. him like you know George Clooney. I know, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I used to live in New York, and he lives in New York, and so we sort of knew a lot of the same people. Um, wait, what are these weirdos talking about now? I get free stuff at my job. Well, expired stuff burn on you. Um, wait, I missed someone said something good back here. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Brian Kilby? Give it up for Brian Kilby, everyone. What kind of snacks did Attack of the Show give me? Um, 
in your dressing room, they, they would probably give you any kind of snacks, but um, uh, in my dressing room, there was like weird, like healthy zone bars, like those chocolate bars. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't request. That. <laughs> I don't know why they have you like like weird healthy like trail mix and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Maybe you should um, go all diva on them. Yeah. Be like bitch, where's my yeah, sex? That's right. That's right. Where's my hot pockets. Yeah, I want hot pockets and I want um, a bottle of champagne every day. Um, that sounds awesome. Wikipedia says, <laughs> what? I don't know what that means, that I'm active on Wikipedia. Wikipedia says that I am active 1998 till today. Is Maybe it true? Maybe they mean career-wise, because I'm pretty sure you weren't born in 1998. Um, I think you might be a smidge older than 20. Um, okay, here's a good question. Is it true that Children's Hospital is filmed in the same place that Scrubs was? Yes, that's true. Um, there are a couple of, here in LA, there are a couple of abandoned hospitals that used to be real hospitals. And so instead of like blowing them up and tearing them down, um, they just leave them for you to shoot in. And um, they kind of do that with a lot of buildings out of here. Like weird restaurants will close down, but they'll leave the building there so that people can film in it. Yeah, there's one right near here that yeah. does that, the Johnny's. Yeah, yeah. Johnny, I think that's where they filmed. It's like um, the Denver, so. Yeah, I think that's where they where they filmed um, uh, 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 Pulp Fiction, mm -hmm. I think, was in there. But anyway, um, yeah, so the hospital that we shoot Children's Hospital in is the same hospital where they shot Scrubs in. And every now and then we'll make a joke about it on the show, um, like about Zach Braff or um, the ghost of people from Scrubs or something. But um, anyway... That was the place we shot the first couple seasons, and then they blew up that hospital. They just imploded it and tore it down. So now we shoot in this other hospital, which is crazy haunted. It's crazy haunted. Um, there's a guy on our crew that is like, um, he's this real low key guy who does like all the, um, he does a lot of lighting and electrical work for us. And he's had this thing where he sees, he can see ghosts supposedly, which I thought was like BS at first. I was like, no way, man. And then, he started telling me like just all these stories from growing up and stuff and the only reason I believe him is because he was so um, he wasn't trying to convince me he was just like really shy about it and kind of didn't really want to talk about it so I kept pulling it out of him and um, so then he started telling me about things that he'd seen in the hospital and it was really scary but of course it makes sense because the hospital there's so many people yeah, that have died there yeah. you know so um, yeah it was really scary but it's pretty neat at night because you can freak yourself out you can take the elevator up to totally empty floors and walk around in the pitch black dark and just wait for something to grab you so it's, yeah it's pretty scary do you, do you ever play pranks on cast or crew members in that place trying to scare them well Cordry, um, not really but Cordry thought he saw a ghost one time he was leaving he was there late at night and he was leaving, and um, he was getting ready to walk out of this door. And in the door, he saw a reflection of something pass right behind him. And um, he thought for sure it was a ghost. But then later, he thought he tried to convince himself that it was um, something through the glass on the other side, like a bird flew by or something. But I think it was a ghost. Um, thank you for looking that up. I was on episode four of the Nerdist podcast. Um, that's true. I should come back. Yeah, Hardwick's a buddy of mine, and and Matt and I are actually neighbors. We live well. We were neighbors. I just moved out of his neighborhood, but um, but yeah, they're great dudes, and I love doing all those podcasts. Um, do I get shamed for eating hot pockets? No, people applaud me eating hot pockets. I get shamed for making love to hot pockets. That's what people don't like. Um, or do you let them cool first? Um, yeah, you let them cool down. <laughs> I would hope. Room temperature. Um, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Um, World of Warcraft for the win. You remember? How does someone to accidentally take a tour of the hospital? Um, I don't know how he would accident. Someone on here said that their friend actually accidentally took a tour of the Scrubs Children's Hospital hospital. Well, maybe their tour guide was a ghost. Maybe they're a ghost. Maybe that. Per the maybe your friend is a ghost. Yeah. And you don't know it. Um, someone's asking NTSF or NCIS. Definitely NTSF, yeah. bro. Um, NTS one is funny. One is boring. Yeah, I mean. NTSF SD SUV is Paul Shear's show. Um, that's at 12.15 tomorrow night. Our show, Children's Hospital, is on at midnight. Um, last week, I was on Sheer show. I got to play this um, insane samurai guy who used to be married to Piper. And I come back and kill all these people and try to ruin her wedding. So that was really cool. Um, 
Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Most non sequitur. Yeah. Did you have a stuntman in that episode? <laughs> um, and what's his name? Bob? Yeah, do you know that Bob guy? Chapin. Yeah, do yeah you know he's him? a friend of mine. He said he was doing some stuff okay, with NTSF, and, his... and, he, and I saw a photo of him in the, in the wigs. So okay, maybe... well, that's so random because I talk about him all the time. Yeah. Your friend, Bob, was my stuntman on NTSF because I had to do all this crazy sword stuff. And um, it's yeah, really it's hard to do, and you want to make it look really good. So um, they cast this guy, your friend, who happens to look, if you put a, if we're wearing the same wig, he looks a lot I like me. Like his face the, the looks thing. like me. Um, he's way taller than me, but he's awesome at sword fighting. So we used him for NTSF. And then when I looked at the cut of NTSF, I couldn't tell whether it was me or him. Like anytime it was like really cool and like awesome, I was like, wait, is that me? Did I do Because I tried to, I tried to fake a lot of it. But um, yeah, he's been great. So then I hired him for this other thing that I shot, um, where I had to do crazy sword fighting, and um, I brought him in, and he's yeah, he's great. He's um, he's so really funny. good. Um, it's weird to have a stuntman that looks a lot like you. Yeah. It makes me want to go out and like rob banks or something like that. Well, um, that's kind of the point, is that? Yeah, like definitely. You? Everyone should have their own stuntman. Um, do, 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 do a lot of bad jokes. Man, you guys got a lot of bad, dumb jokes. Not but that's do. okay. It's um, the internet. That's what they're there for. That's all right. <laughs> um, do I go to any conventions? Of course. I went to Comic-Con this year. I went to New York Comic-Con, I think, last year. Um, I went to a Back to the Future convention <laughs> a couple nice. years ago with a bunch of friends. It was such a bummer. Oh, it was a huge bummer. Um, oh, in New York, I used to go to this horror convention. It was really cool. It was like, you know, everyone from horror films. And um, But I saw the most depressing thing. There was um, the guy that used to play Jason is this stuntman named Kane Hodder. A lot of you probably know who that is. And, um, you know, a lot of these people will make money by going to these um, conventions. And they'll um, set up a booth and sign autographs. And you have to pay, you know, like 20 bucks to get their autograph. So um, this lady was there with her son, and her son was little. He was like three years old, and he was dressed up like Jason. He was in overalls and a little kid hockey mask. And um, so he was all shy, and his mom was trying to get him to go get Kane Hodder's autograph. And she's like, go on, go on. So the little kid goes up to the, to the booth, and Kane Hodder was sitting there behind the booth, and he was like, 20 bucks. And it's just like, oh, it's a, it's a little kid. He doesn't have 20 bucks. So I guess his mom gave him the money. Um, but that was cool. Um, do I have to interview people at weird hours of the night? Yes, Brian Kilby. I do have to interview people at weird hours of the night. I have to go to their house and in the middle of the night, and sometimes I'll go in the back and let myself in and I will film them with my night vision camera. And a lot of times they're asleep, but I'll ask them questions. Sometimes they don't hear me because they're asleep, but either way, I get footage of them while they're sleeping, and that counts as an interview. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, that's what I do a lot. What's it like to work with the Fonz? Um, uh, Henry Winkler is on Children's Hospital, and uh, you've probably heard this, um, Bobby F. J. Town. Uh, Henry Winkler is the nicest person in the whole world. Like, I'm older than all of you people, but I grew up watching Happy Days, and um, yeah, Happy Days to me was like a big deal, and he was just like the coolest dude growing up. And, uh, you know, now he's a lot older, but he's just so nice. He's like, he would do anything for anyone. And he just, he remembers everyone's name. He, like, he always um, tweets at me. He's just, like, super cool. But what's crazy, he used to produce, in the 80s, he produced all these shows out here. Like, he produced, um, like, Hollywood Squares and MacGyver and all these, like, insane shows. So he's, um, he's one of those people that just knows the entertainment business really well. And, um, and is really kind of a good role model in a way because he's so, um, he, he's just really genuine and not at all a Hollywood douchebag. Like there's so many people in LA that are just are Hollywood, Hollywood douchebags. Douche yeah. And he's just been in the business so long and figured out that it's way easier to be nice to people than to not be nice to people. And um, yeah, he's just like a really good sort of person to look up to, I think. Right, so we're getting on a little past 5.30, so let's just do one or two more questions, um, uh, and then we will let you go. Okay, you someone's busy. asking about this movie I did called Welcome mm -hmm. to the Jungle. I did a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme called um, Welcome to the Jungle, and um, it's basically the first comedy that Jean-Claude Van Damme has ever done. And uh, we shot it in Puerto Rico in February. 
and um, it's me, Adam Brody, and um, Kristen Shaw, and uh, from Bob's Burgers, and then like a whole bunch of really funny people, and then Jean Claude Van Damme, who's not what you would immediately think of like a hilarious dude, but um, he. It ter- First of all, he's a really nice guy. He's bananas. Like, I got drunk with that guy a lot. <laughs> and I could tell some crazy stories. But, uh, but um, yeah, he was just super cool. Um, There's one part where I got in, I get kicked in the face by him. You know, and we tried to fake it. Mm-hmm. But he actually kicked me in the face, which was a bummer. But now you can tell everyone that you got kicked in the yeah, face I by got, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I got kicked Van in the face by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Exactly. That's the whole reason I did the movie. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, the movie is super funny. It's a comedy about um, a group of co-workers that um, they all work in the same office. And um, we get sent by our boss. Um, our boss is Dennis Haysbert from the Allstate commercials, the guy that used to be the president of the United States of America. Uh, on, uh, on um, what's his face, this show? Yeah, on, um, on what? Was it West Wing? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, on, I'm blanking. On uh, Kiefer Kiff, Sutherland. What was that show? 24. 24. He was the president on 24. Okay. Um, so anyway, Dennis Haysbert is our boss, and he sends all these dumb co-workers on like a team-building weekend um, in the jungle, and it, this, this, uh, out, this like boot camp is run by Jean-Claude Van Damme. So, um, it starts off, he's like this really scary badass and then all the stuff happens and, um, it turns out he has no idea what he's doing and, um, and we're completely lost in like trying to survive in the jungle. So it basically, it basically turns into the book, Lord of the Flies, where it's like every man for himself. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's super funny. And Jean-Claude Van Damme, Jean-Claude Van Damme was like a totally cool guy and I'm psyched that, that I got to hang out with him. Awesome. All right, I think it's time that we uh, call the night. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks, Internet. Everyone, thank Rob. Thanks, Internet. Further thanking you is just, just um, going to okay. down at the bottom. You guys go back to looking at pornography. See you later. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thanks.